The CompTIA Security Plus exam is a great way to get started into cybersecurity. Now, typically, I'd only recommend this exam if you have previous tech experience and you studied um, something computer based in college. But if you have no tech experience and you're looking to get into cybersecurity from scratch, there are other exams such as the Network Plus and Pentest Plus. So just to give you a little background about myself. At the time of this exam, I had just graduated from college. I did four years in cybercrime and IT security, and I had also done an internship during my during my college year. So that was all the background I had before taking on this exam, and it still took me three months to fully study. I was working a part-time job at the time as well. So let's go through the first resource that I use. This is Udemy, and if you're not familiar with Udemy, it's a it's a platform for learning. Um, if you if you look down here, we see data science, IT certifications, leadership, web development, communication, business analytics. It's very broad, and it's not just IT focused. So I use Udemy, and specifically on Udemy, I used Jason Dion's course. Now he has a very nice way of breaking things down in this um for, for the security plus and don't mind the price when you create a new account actually here's here's a very important tip when you create a new account on Udemy you actually get a a, a significant discount like it cost me this this cost me 15 euros this course was 15 euros and if you get the personal plan actually you could start at 12 euros per month after your trial which sounds very good because you you don't just get the CompTIA Security Plus course and exam he also has he also has an exam um section as well just one sec there so he has two sets of practice exams and these have six questions six um exam sets in one so this is exam set one there's there's six six practice um, 90 questions it's it's like uh it's like you're in the exam itself so you do the 90 questions for the exact amount of time um and then you're good to go for the exam so there's six of them here and then there's six of them in the other set but going back to his course which also contains its own exam you have 31 hours on demand video and so if you structure this and tell yourself okay i am gonna get through two hours a day of studying you will be able to complete this course in about 15 days you could complete this course in a month with some dedication but obviously it depends on your life right some of you could be in college right now going through finals some of you might just finish college have a bit more time in your hands some of you might have a family and you don't have two hours every day to spare. So it, it depends on who you are. But as long as you have a structure, even if you were to do this one hour a day, it would take you a month to complete it. And then you could review it again. Now, another resource that I used was exam compass now this is like i would recommend exam compass to anybody trying to um get a comptia certification so comptia security plus comptia network plus exam compass is your best friend what i love about exam compass is first of all it gives you about 24 security plus practice tests um just one sec and we have about 25 questions in each test. And then, not just that, it quizzes you on the acronyms. But also, this is actually my favorite part, the tests come by exam topics. So if you're confused or you feel you feel like, okay, I know this, I know this, I know encryption, but I don't know digital certifications, exam compass breaks down each section into its own quiz and so you can really tell which domain and which aspect of the course you actually fully know because you're able to go through the quizzes and you can go through them multiple times and the best part it is free and so this is actually one of the most important ones and then my last resource because i think it's just good to cover all the domains honestly with jason dion 
and exam compass, you should be good. But Professor Messer, breaks down topics very well as well Do you know I, I didn't i didn't fully complete his course on youtube i didn't even, i didn't do most of it to be honest but what i did do was i took for example let's say i didn't understand virtualization vulnerabilities or zero day vulnerabilities i would come here there's a three minute course on it boom i'm done right and I, what I also did was I, I compared, right? So I compared Jason Dion's um, course with the topics on Professor Messer, right? Jason Dion was definitely my at the forefront of my learning. But any topics that I felt like, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't, I, I didn't see this in Jason Dion's. I would, I would go to Professor Messer's and have a look for it. And it might have been mentioned in Jason Dion, but it wasn't. He, he might not have gone in depth, you know, different different people teach in different ways. And so these are your three most important resources, right? Jason Dion on Udemy, Exam Compass for Security Questions, and YouTube. By combining these resources, I was able to cover all the domains that were mentioned in the Computer Security Plus exam. I was also able to keep my information clean and fresh and get different perspectives just in case I didn't understand anything. Now, there's one more recess that I will mention, but um, as I was saying, I'm terrible with focusing. And so I wasn't able to dedicate a certain amount of hours. But what I made sure to do was that I had goals that I would reach during a certain amount of time. And that's why I think this video is more realistic to people because not everybody can read straight for two to three hours a day. Or some people can't focus for a full hour straight. And I'm one of those people. So what I did was I set a goal and then I made sure that I achieved the goal within a certain timeline. So whether I spent five hours in a day, you know, in between certain things that I was doing to study, or I spent 30 minutes the next day studying, I made sure that within a week, I had a certain amount of, of chapters done. But one thing I also want to mention, something that's very important is to revisit the videos, right? So it depends on your knowledge, but if you spend a month completing the Udemy course, and then you spend a week doing the practice exams every day when you, when you can, and then you spend another month reviewing the Udemy course, your knowledge will be super strong. Now, the final resource that I hadn't mentioned was ChatGPT, right? Not everything is so easy to understand from Udemy, from YouTube, from the quizzes. We don't want to be doing cram and pour, right? ChatGPT is able to explain to you in the simplest of ways. You can literally tell ChatGPT, explain it to me like I'm a five-year-old. I'm going to put in the description below a little prompt that you can put into ChatGPT and um, add any parts of the course that you may not have understood and that and then ChatGPT will be able to explain that for you in the simplest of terms. So the CompTIA Security Plus exam has no more than 90 questions and you need to pass at about a 83.3% rate, which is about 75 questions. So you need to get 75 questions correct. And so when you're doing the practice, practice exam, keep this in mind. You need to try to finish the practice, practice exams before the time um, finishes, but also you need to keep your pass mark way above 83%. And so what I did was I ensured that in all six practice exams, I had a 90% pass rate in each and every one of them. And so I would do the practice exam, review what I missed, do the practice exam again, reread the course, do the practice exam again. And so I kept going back and forth like that for three months. And then I was able to pass the exam with flying colors on the first try. You are able to know what you don't know. And then next time you go into the course, you can have a more granular control of what it is you are taking in. You know which parts you missed, which parts you don't really understand. And then you take the exams one last time. And if you are above the 90% range, then you know that you're good to go. But if you're below the 70% range, then you know you might have to go back to the course.
I would strongly suggest the resources mentioned, Udemy, Exam Compass, and I will have a link in the description below and everything you need to know really in the description below. And if you're trying to take the security exam in time soon, let me know in the comments when you're when you're about to take it and how it goes after and if any of these resources helped you and if you've done the security plus exam before let me know what exams you're thinking of taking in the future um i hope this video was informational i hope this video helped you in some way and leave a like and subscribe if, if this video was informational to you